In this video, I am going to walk you through how to embed a Google Slides presentation in your newsfeed or in other areas of your Brightspace course shell. So what we want to do first is we want to start in our Google Slides. And so the example I have here is a set of agenda slides that I might post for my students. So once you've created your slides and you're ready to embed them into your newsfeed post, what you want to go to first is you want to go to File and then Publish to the Web. And so what this is going to do is it's going to give you an embed code that you can then go post in Brightspace. So we're going to click on the embed link. And then the medium size is probably a good size for Brightspace. So you can leave it at that. And you've got a few other options here. So you can have it start the slideshow as soon as the player loads. And then you can also have it auto advance if you want. And then you can also have it restart the slideshow after the last presentation. If you leave both of these unchecked, then that means that your students or whoever is looking at that content will have to advance the slides themselves. So I'm just for the sake of this video going to leave that turned off and I'm going to hit publish. And then it's going to ask you if you are sure you want to publish this, you're going to click OK. And then it's going to give you an embed code. And this looks a bit scary, but really all you got to do is hit your command C or control C, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC to copy that code. And then we're going to go back over to Brightspace and we're going to create a new news post. So I'm just going to click, click on the drop down arrow here. I'm going to go to new news item. And then that's going to open up the news tool. So I might post that this is our agenda for today. And then within the content area, what I really love is this insert stuff button. You can do so much stuff, which is why I guess why it's called insert stuff with this button. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to scroll down a little until we see enter embed code. And you can use this process for anything that you can get an embed code for on the web. So we're just going to command V or control V our embed code from Google Slides into here. And then we're going to click next. It's going to give us a preview so you can see it's previewing what this is going to look like. And so if you're happy with that, you're going to hit insert. That's going to insert that there, and then you're just going to hit publish. Okay, so let's go back to our news feed then and take a look at that. So if we scroll down, here is our agenda. Now, the medium size, because I have my homepage set up this way, the dimensions are a little bit off. So we can go in and fix that if you need to fix that. So I'm just going to come in here and edit my news post feed because I don't like how that's showing up. So because we've inserted our embed code in here, what we now need to do is come down to this button here that shows the arrow um, kind of brackets with the uh, slash in here. So this is actually the HTML editor. Again, sounds kind of scary, but not really. If you click on it, what you're going to see is you're going to see that iframe code that we copied from our Google Slides presentation. And so if you ever want to change any kind of size of something, what you want to look for is you want to look for the words width and you want to look for height. And so this is 960 by 569. So we could do a couple things here. You could play with the numbers here and you might want to try and keep the same kind of aspect ratio. If you want to just come back over to Google Slides, you can come in here and say, no, I want the small size instead. And then you can come back to here and copy it. And then if you came back to 
this section here, you're just going to grab everything that's in that iframe code and replace it with the one that you just copied from Google Slides. So you can see now the, the width and the height has changed here. You could also just take the 480 and change the numbers. So say you wanted it 500 by 310. Okay, so it's a little bit of trial and error until you find the right kind of dimensions that work for you. So I'm just going to save that so you can see what that looks like now. And you can see that that's gone a lot smaller. So if we come back to our homepage now and take a look at that, you're going to see our agenda slides and it is a bit smaller. So again, I would probably go in and play with the dimensions a little bit more so that I got a nice use of this space and that I was able to fill the space as much as possible. Your students would then be able to come in here and if it wasn't auto playing, they could just click back and forth between the slides. So they could click on the slide or they can click on the arrows between each of the different slides. And all of these links are active links as well. So if you want to link all of your activities in here, then you can do that. And that's going to take you to the variety of different things that are linked into your agenda slide. So you could use it as a way for organizing your course and your day for your students. That's it for this video. I hope that's helped in terms of setting up and posting Google Slides and having them embedded within your newsfeed. You can also use this kind of process anywhere that you have that HTML editor. So you can insert these into the content section or into pretty much anywhere else within Brightspace. So go give it a try. Let me know in the comments below how it worked for you and where you've used it and what you've used it for. See you in the next video.